What's going on, everyone? I am walking to the gym right now. Uh, so welcome to episode four of Small Love Junior Bench. Today is the beginning of week two, which means I have another six by six day, and this time it's up 10 pounds, so it's 185 now. All the weights will get increased 10 pounds, same kind of routine. Not sure what else I'm going to do today. I did some conditioning work yesterday, so my legs aren't too fresh, but I may uh, just do like an upper day. We'll see, but definitely have six by six, so we'll get that in, and I'll get some footage for you guys. Hopefully, you guys are liking the series. Take care. How's it going, YouTube? So this is Greg Ferris back here with Ferris for Fitness. So this is episode four, like I said in the intro. Today was my six by six at 185. All of the weights get up by 10%. So it's I think it's 75% for for a six by six plus the 10 pounds. Today felt pretty good. It was early in the morning for me, which is kind of um, I haven't trained early in the morning for the past two or three weeks since I've been out of school. I've been having later kind of workouts. So I had my pre-workout and also kind of an intro workout of Gatorade and Whey to kind of push me through. I've never really responded to training well fasted. I don't think most people do either. So again, just having, most people have no idea just like how much a little bit of sugar before their workout can help out. So I really felt uh, as far as perceived exertion, this workout was incredibly tough. Uh, rest periods, I've still been pretty moderate on this program. I'm always trying to stick below three minutes. And I've done that pretty much every single one of my sets. I haven't had to like really draw out these these sets so far. So I'm almost halfway done with small off. I just realized that because it's only three weeks, four sessions a week. So that's 12 sessions. This is my fifth one. You know, it's definitely going to get harder. Don't, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I'm really enjoying it so far. And all the questions I've gotten are um, other people wanting to run this or should I run this? Things like that. I would say... Most people who are around my training age, which is about three years now, probably, you know, too, I wouldn't say too advanced, but not necessary to see progress. The thing with me, I've just been kind of stuck on bench for a while. Uh, I missed 250 like three weeks in a row, so I wanted to give it a shot. And my training right now, if you're following my channel, is really sporadic. And I'm just kind of treating it like a big science experiment. So I'd recommend probably more linear progression or something like that unless you've been training for a while. So I'll talk over these last two sets about my form. Uh, right here, I think it's really good, a really good angle. You can see that my arch, and there's not a lot of unnecessary movement, which I think is really good about my form lately. Again, it's just um, elbow drive, pretty much. You don't want a lot of you know leg flaring around, things like that. Another good tip I've picked up is really try to think about driving your knees out, similar motion to a squat. So again, I want to just kind of you know kill your legs uh, they're not, you don't want them to move, but they're actually active as well. And then this last set, some other cues I've, I've picked up on throughout my you know, high, high volume um, binging with Small Life Junior is that there's kind of like a, a subtle little bounce at the end of my reps on my chest. So I definitely need to work on the pauses and probably make them longer as well, especially if I want to actually compete. Um, and the bar path is a little bit awkward for me. I feel like I'm... I'm good on my chest, but then I press up it towards my neck. So a few things for me to work on. But yeah, guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, uh, give me some feedback on this training series, and I'll talk to you guys later.